Hi everybody, welcome to another Whiskey Mystery. I'm Phil. I'm Three bottles on the table. Why is that? Yeah, why? Don't look at the labels. Just something came up at the end when I was tidying up last episode. I noticed Whiskey 101, you had made the comment that I had said one bottle was ex-bourbon and it was really a sherry butt. So which one's ex-bourbon, which one's sherry? Ex-bourbon, but sherry. Right. Except it's not. This Ben Nevis is 20 years in sherry. That's the type of colour that you would expect, right? But it is sherry. Yes, yes sherry. So I said. This one is also sherry. Wow. This is the one that Whiskey 101 was talking about because when I looked at the label after, um, it does say from a single sherry puncheon cask on here. Now, <laughs> First or second fill, <laughs> refill, third fill, fourth fill, who knows? But that is not an ex-bourbon whiskey. Like, um, okay, here's here's Kilcarran 8, ex-bourbon. Look, matching color. This though, is also a single cask Aaron, and this is an ex-bourbon Aaron. Now, it, I did look on the label carefully to see, did it say anything about adding colour? It didn't, but come on. This is a single cask at 52%, but it is a bourbon cask. So look, <laughs> you can compare these two. They look like, like neighbours. And this one looks like the Kilcarran 8. So, colour. These are both ex-bourbon. Sorry. No, no. <laughs> but these, <laughs> Kilcarran 8. These are both ex-bourbon. <laughs> and this one is sherry. So amazing, isn't it? That those are both Aaron, both, uh, not both, bourbon, sherry. And they're both 52%. And they're both old-ish. Confusing, isn't it? <laughs> and are many years. Uh, they are... 16 to 20, I think it is. Right, that was a lot of chat. And we haven't even got the viscometer started. How's everyone doing? Let's get the viscometer clock going and then we'll get the show underway. And start. Here we go, what are we doing? We are going to be blind tasting. Oh, it's almost empty. Have you drunk it all? 176 by, oh, Matthias picked this one. Oh, that's right, after our red breast bourbon confusion last episode. <laughs> For the next 12 minutes, we will nose it, taste it, maybe rank it on the shelf. Do you think this one is going on the shelf? <laughs> but before we can do that, let's have a nose of yesterday's glass, because we always do our homework the day before. Hmm. We were trying to work out, is there anything that could be slightly peated in this? And normally it shows up on the day after, but I'm getting mostly vanilla. I mean, that's easy. Maybe a, a tiny, tiny bit of dusty ash, kind of. So maybe, let me try your glass. Vanilla, dusty ash, right. Uh, let's, let's pour. Wow, there really is almost nothing in here. Are you sure you didn't drink it all? I think I, I packed a sucker. Well, bubbles are looking pretty good. Oh, yes, hanging around. What, what bubble factor do we have here? Ooh, let's go between 50 and 56% and see how they look. Mmm, well, it's looking closer to 56 than it is to 50. That's what I think. 55, 56, above. I don't think it's above 55, but it could be 52, 53, 54. What do you think? They're quite long lasting. 
do not forget the discometer oh. today. <gasps> this is your job, not my <laughs> job. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Right. Should we pour a little bit? Actually, this glass I had poured earlier because I wanted to see if anything smoky showed up. Oh, a little bit cheesy, actually, in my mm. glass that's emptying. Try this one. Freshly. And this is quite... Oh, eucalyptus. Eucalyptus. Isn't that... Isn't that the benchmark of a spring bank, eucalyptus? Maybe. Hang on. I didn't think it was spring bank. Very subtle. Oh, hang on, though. <laughs> See, now you've put that in my mind. I'm getting cheesiness now. Yes. Cheesy vanilla. Cheesy lemon vanilla. A dash of fry green apple. Tomar, I had a co-worker who would nose his clothes out of his hamper to see if he could wear it one more day. <laughs> yes, exactly the same thing. Especially if it's cheesy. Oh, hang on a minute. All oh, right, I think this is going to need a little whisk. Uh, I'm more... I want to, wow, well, you can tell there's almost nothing left in there. If we, if we really like it, mm. it might be the last of it. Did I see an Indian Pete head in earlier in the chat? <laughs> Deepa, oh, you missed it. I think I, I, think I got it. <laughs> that, I can tell you, works out compared to vodka. It came in at about 109, 100, 109 to 110% oh. viscosity. So on the high side, above average. Well, I was, I was just saying, if there was an Indian peat head in, as well as peat head, welcome all peat heads. <laughs> okay, this is quite um, bright lemon now, with, the, with that extra water added. I mean, overall, this is quite bright, yeah, isn't it? There's something musty about it. But something musty. Like you the bear house. Oh, is it like walking into a Cadenhead warehouse? Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> nice. A Dunnage warehouse. Now we're... See, now we're constantly pushing ourselves into a spring bank direction here. Let's pretend it's not. Let's say it's a space side. Just mentally. Yeah. Or oh, a land. Mmm. Well, I am getting cheesy lemon though. It's it's very subtle lemon, soft, subtle. Now it is sweet though, isn't it? Classy lemon. But it's more honey rich in the full glass. I think it's a shine smoke, almost earthiness. It's very subtle, soft. Is that is that the water water one? But it is sweet as well, isn't it? Let's try, let's try full power. Very very soft. Oh yeah. Butter sugar in the air. Yeah, it is. It is pastries. Pastries, mm. not bread. Pastry. Very sweet, almost icing sugar dust, mm. sort of in the air. Have a taste and see if you think it's full power, strength, ABV. Very strong. I was at uh, 55 ABV. Hmm. Oh, oh. maybe 50 thick. Oh, the a strong smoke. The smoke in this banana in a grey area, but brown apple type of smoke. Apple type of smoke? Did you get a lot of spiciness? Oh, yeah. Very prickly. Let me add a little bit of the watered down one to soften this out a bit. Um, it's brown battery. If there's any smokiness, it could also be barrel char, though, couldn't it? It's at a low enough level, or do you think it's higher? No, no, very, very, oh, very yeah. subtle. So it could just be charred Possibly. barrel, although the colour doesn't suggest there was much charring. It's quite a uh, tight, astringent. Tight, astringent, like a dry, mm, dry wine. Dry wine. And I'm, I'm getting slightly bubblegum candy notes mm. in this now. This is the watery one again. 
Per i suoi saccarini amici. Slight mint. It is there. That slight mint is there. I was just thinking that. Very subtle. Not overly complex, though, is it? No, not really. You know, as complex as Springbank. Not as complex as Springbank. No. See, I was thinking originally yesterday. I thought, oh, this could be a young. This could be something young and punchy, like um. This eight-year-old Glen Lossie from Single Malts of Scotland. No, sorry, the Scotch, whis Scotch but, but Malt Whiskey Society. Finish. But this is a 59 percenter, and I don't think it's quite that high. I'm, about to finish. I'm starting to think it's more middle-aged. 12, 16, maybe, because it... I'm thinking of that... Good point. I'm thinking of the Dal Ewan that we had, which was 22 in it. Actually, let's... Let's go into it. Let's go into a, a comparison. What shall I pull a up? A very deep, uh, a peppery, winter, a pepper, deep, very warm, nice. Twenty-one year Ben Rinnis. I think the uh, best pepper. Good, but this one is the. I heard dry. Oh, you think this is better? Mm. I was getting more complexity you, here. You, there's more complexity. I prefer, I prefer today because I have more of the smoky side. Yeah. I this part is more on the soft of the middle. Now, this is, this? it's a Ben Rinnis. Oh. Um, 21 years and 50%. This is stronger, but not massively stronger, I don't think. 50. Yeah, 50. 54, 55. I prefer to do it. You prefer this? I think I might prefer this. Very, very close. Yeah. Very sign. Um, okay. This is something that's stronger. Let's see. <laughs> I prefer this one. It's very uh, puppy. Oh, the finish. Oh, the beat. Oh, uh, very soft beat. It's a thing, it's a beat. Uh, before I but, show you. But, but the finish <laughs> is tough. Uh, it's very young. Okay, so you think it's young, stronger, and more peaty. Let's go back and compare. Mm. Which one? Um, which one's better? It's more. It's darker. It's so him and I think I go for today. Okay, this one you were right. It is younger, eight years old. It is stronger. I think, because this is 55.7. 55, oh, that is stronger. No. Oh, I thought the opposite, but maybe. And, um, ex bourbon. Very sharp, prickly, that's why. I think it's not prickly at all. But I love that one. Thank you, back one more. <coughs> we have one more. <laughs> now, that means we are putting this in here somewhere. Let me go again. Let me go again. When I was painting it, I thought it was a little bit, not all over the place, but not fully integrated either. So a lot of bright things going on, quite punchy. There is complexity, but it's complexity in a way which is not fully rounded. There's something it's not fully integrated. Do you... They have me asking me like around 15 years. Let's just go back. Let's go. There's something lucky somehow. It's the Ben Rinnis again. Oh no, sorry, that was that was Craig Ellicky. That was a mistake. 
times up. Yeah, so it's definitely better. I'm trying to work out where I put it on the shelf. It's very good. I have this one. It is one. It's more confident. Yeah. But oh, that one. That would, one. Please, please. That's the Ben Rinnis again. Ding. Very confident. I would put it right up there with that Ben Rinnis. I would put it ahead of the Hellier's Road. Yes. And what about the Springbank Green? Um, I'd probably go for that one. But, uh, and do you still prefer the Kilcarran Eight? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It okay. Is. So we're talking about up there. Uh, is there anything else we should do? Time is up. I think it could be something Aaron type. Right, let's bring up the spreadsheet and see what people think it could be. Um, now, it is a strong one, and but it's not superpower. Actually, it's quite it's quite similar to last week when we had. Something ex bourbon in the fifties. Now it could be an old malt cask. Uh, let's see what we have. Let's go to the lower end. It's definitely in the fifties. It's not a kill home, and surely a brook laddie. Not in that, the family. That Ben Nevis is uh, single. I think it's stronger than that, though. I think it could be. Oh, it could. <laughs> it could. No, that's the sherry one. Wow, Aaron, it could be one of those Aaron's that mm. we had earlier. Could it be a local barley? It would have to be 11, the grassy one. I don't think it's, it's not that one. That one Vic. There's a Brooklady, a Glenbergy. Oh, hang on. Smoky things. Let's not skip past them just in case. They're dark. Oh, there's quite a few things this could be. I just kind of forgot that it is easy. But I more that food to do or more that food to take. Well, there is a 55.8 Springbank oh. ex bourbon oh, cask. Oh, yes. I think you were heading in that direction. I don't know if I could claim that one. At 14 years. 14 years old. This Longmorn, 14 years at 54.9%. It's probably it's sherry. It's too prickly, but this. Well, we used to get prickly on the back of Longmorn 16. Oh, I don't remember. Mmm. Little Mill. Any chance this is Kleinlish? No, uh, the name of Urbus get on. It's very sugary. Royal Brackler. A Blair Athol at 60%. Possible. Almost 60. I don't think it's that high. Um, Glenbergy, Hogshead, Bastable. 53, 21 years old. Mm. And originally I was thinking it was the 57. I don't think it's that high. Oh, I'm giving, I'm giving a trophy. Oh, really? Mm. I think I got for this. It's a little... The reason why we called it stevia, what do we call it? Stevia seaweed. Stevia seaweed, which does seem like a good description for a springbank. Mm. You know when you have an artificial sweetener, stevia is an artificial sweetener plant. It's actually a real plant, but it gives the impression. It's a, it's a leaf which is used in place of sugar. So, but it has a slight green leaf element about it. And this is very sweet, like an artificial sweetener that goes slightly, it turns a little sour. Okay, I'm going to go with the Longmorn, but I think Deepa might have it today. Yeah, but, but you got to push. You, you, I you know, you were the one who said smoke first. I can't claim that one. If it's... If it's this, we don't have much left. Oh no! I might have shared a bit too much. Oh! <laughs> That's okay. Right. Before we reveal, 
Let's go to the chat. Let's go to the chat. Say hello to a few people here. Who is the real Pete head today? No, I shouldn't say that. Everyone can be a Pete head, can't they? Uh, Greg's Whiskey Guide about casks. Honestly, you never know. I experienced this this week. I know. You mean you never know? You know, when we were at when we were at the Glen Scotia distillery tasting, uh, Ian, Ian, what's Ian's second name? Forgotten, anyway. I was, Ian. I was going to say MacArthur, but I'm confusing it with Ian. like a bullion. Ian. Yeah. Um, he gave us a sample from a very old cask, which was clearly marked as ex-bourbon or ex-sherry. I can't remember which way round it was. But what came out of the barrel was the opposite of what was marked on the barrel. Oh, oops. And he, and he said, clearly this is wrongly, wrongly marked. I think it was a hogshead, so it could have been either. So, yeah, you never know. Aquami bourbons are dark by themselves. That's right. The colour comes from the casks, but it's also from that first fill, deep charring, isn't it? Probably. I'm going to have to jump down so that we don't go so slow. Not necessarily Phil. Oh, Greg, I don't know what you're referring to. Probably the the colour. Is it a bit uh, universal? <laughs> Peter heads are universal. Right, let's get down to the guesses. Let's see what people are thinking. Lagavulin and twelve cask strength. Oh, not that smoky. Uh, it's possible. Oh yeah. It's, no, no, we're talking about very faint smoke though, right? More like burnt mm. burnt lemon rind on a barbecue, maybe. Uh Sivia, can you ferment this? Oh, Sivia can be fermented yeah, no. and distilled like a sugar. I put a stash. Looking good for my guess. Oh, Patrice, were you on the Springbank guess? Oh, Greg, Stevia is bad health-wise. Mm. Huh, compared, no. compared to sugar, I'm not sure. Stevia tastes like licorice to me. Yeah, see, there's, it's got that yes, little yes. thing okay. going on. But, but do not do that licorice stuff. Graham Fraser. Sounds increasingly like a space side. See, that's where I was going. I was going space ID. Um, right. Right, okay. I think we should go to the reveal. Are you ready for the reveal? No, Deepa is not ready for the reveal. I'll put after after again. If can I? It's very sucker sucker fast. Can I join? But can I join your team? Can I join your team? I've got to say. Oh yeah, yeah, of course, no problem. Okay. That's very nice, but here we go. It is fifty-four-ish percent. That's that's fine. It is. Ooh. It is 21 years old. Cost us $120. It is a space side. Is that a Glenbergi? Hang on. Let's read the, let's read the no I suppose. I, sh I shouldn't have joined Team Deeper. Oh no, I was wrong. I had the Longmorn. Hang on, so Glenbergy 21, all particular. 53.6%. So we got that. Can we buy that again? I bet this is not ex bourbon though. Well, okay, I think it probably could be. Refill Hogshead. Do I have the bottle? Let's give ourselves a bomb on that one. Um, okay, I'll let you look at the label while we read a few notes let's see can you see everything so old old particular is douglas lang or i should probably say that better douglas lang i think is better one of 256 uh, two, 255 bottles from a refill hogshead no coloring added no chill filtered it's a single cask the nose, let's see, what do they say? Golden barley alongside creamy honey and mm. green fruits. Green. Mm. Mm. A malt character initially, 
Then comes charred oak and coconut depth. So the charred oak, we I did say it could the smoky could be charred oak. Finish. Long, slightly spiced with cinnamon, buttered bread, and apple peel. Well, we did say it was spicy. Well, okay. it's a pretty sharp book. But, but you've got to read a very interesting note. Oh, I've got to read all of that? No, this is about Douglas Lang. This isn't about Craig Ellicky. Um Now, Douglas... Fred, Fred Lang was on um, uh, Roy Aquavite's show for an interview. So they were two brothers that split, right? So old malt cask is, I think, Fred Lang. Oh, I, I think. didn't know that. Because these are both both Langs, wow. but, but they split, and that all particular is That's Douglas first. Lang. I think I haven't but really I, got my facts straight. I don't know. I find it a note. I know, but I don't want to do all that reading. Okay. Um. Okay. Does anybody want to read? There you go. If you want to read the interesting notes while we chat, there you go. He never read the note. <laughs> there you go. I'm going to leave it up for a little bit and people can have a look at that. So let's have an... Oh, sorry. I've got to pour from the bottle. <laughs> Hold on. I'll pour, no. from, I'll pour from the bottle and then you can go back to reading your notes. Let's try and make it as big as possible. Does it, does it taste any different? Mmm. I can see that this is another one from k &L, our California whiskey supplier. k &L is pretty well known for going out, finding these single casks and bringing them in um, with their, you know, their name on the label. Um, I prefer, I prefer from the Shimano, but fresh, but not a bit, bit too harsh. A bit too harsh from the full bottle. I don't think this is peated, Tim, no. There's no, I mean, Glen Berge is a space side. Um, so very unlikely that this would be peated. Let's see. Peter, I got it, but Whiskey Lovers Society was way earlier. Oh, you're talking to at Whiskey Lovers. <laughs> Bishop Burnboy, public service broadcasting. Oh, what did Greg say? What did Greg say earlier? I'm going to scroll up a little bit to see who got that. Yeah. Did anyone get it? Greg's Whiskey Guide. What I meant by experience, I had to pick some in a distillery to create something myself. Spoiler, but surprise was good. Oh, I see. You were picking things from barrels and got very surprised. Yes, okay. Bishop Burnboy, how the artificial sweeteners work? Regular sugars are right-handed molecules and artificial ones are the same chemical compounds, but left-handed and can't be metabolized. I see, so we cannot digest them or or get fat from them, but we get the same taste or close. Uh, yeah. Oh, he's about to super chat today. Oh, Chad, how come I can't mm. super chat today? Bummer. <laughs> well, there you go, Chad. We will give you the, the credit. Um, okay, let's address that for a moment. I was getting so fed up with adverts and the revenue, honestly, the revenue is very, very small off adverts. Maybe it's $50 a month or something on a Fifteen. whiskey channel. $50. I was like, I'm just going to turn them all off. And I thought, oh, well, if I just turn off the partnership, that will stop all advertising. And then as soon as I clicked the button, I realized, oh, that's turned off Super Chats. So I turned it back on again. And then it said, we are, we will review your request. <laughs> so it will come back. Um, but now it has to go through a YouTube review to come back up. Thanks, Chad. I appreciate it. Deepa, uh, Tamar, maybe, maybe saying how good you look. Oh, maybe I approve <laughs> of Big Bad 14. Stevia is a natural product, Watchman. Yeah. Prime Whiskey. Hey, Prime. Prime, you did your first live. I haven't seen the the uh, the replay yet, but congratulations on that. I hope it went well. Mm. I'm in too late, but cheers, guys. Let's see. There's only one Pete head. No. Where's Indian Pete head? <gasps> yes. <laughs> is it the space side? Yes, it is. I'm still trying to work out. It's uh... the space side. Okay, hang on. Greg's whiskey guy. Seaweed in a Glenbergie? Well, I was getting a bit of a 
draw any sort. I start to smoke I thought, okay, it's not that smoky. So I thought, okay, a big seaweed. There is, there is something where, because the initial arrival is so sweet, mm. it sort of takes you by surprise when it turns a little seaweedy. Now that could be licorice, it could be green leaf, but it's that stevia thing where, you know, it has a little turn to it. So, yeah. Donna Pass. In the 90s, when stevia furs oh, first appeared in the artificial sweetener, companies got the FDA to ban it for several years to study it. They used this time to develop their own stevia products. Mmm. Imagine that. <laughs> Whiskey Lovers Society. I was number one, I think. Whiskey Lovers and anyone else who got it today, congratulations. What is that? That? Um, maybe. Oh, Peter, did you get it? So far, Whiskey Lovers has claimed um, whoever you think got it. <laughs> Whiskey Lovers, I think it's about time you had a pick. Let's go top shelf or bottom shelf, deeper side or fill side or in the middle. Give us a little description. We will, uh, we will pick your bottle. Pistrafi, pistrafi, oh, I think this is good, right? Because I said I liked it right up here with the others. So we have a little, we have a little cluster. Um, we have a little cluster. I'll check after the Glenmorrie. Yeah, the seaweed sounds kind of strange then. It's very subtle. Yeah. It's not that minute. Patrice, ah, Old Malt Cask is Hunter Lang. Oh. Fred Lang, Douglas Lang, Hunter Lang. Lang. Lane. It's more like a lane. Lang, isn't it? Uh, a particularly smoky cask. We are talking about less than Highland Park levels of a hint of smoke. Uh, 0.5%. So we're talking about barrel char and not smoke. But it could also be that we're talking about some kind of other earthiness that comes with the age. Very sugary. Right. Um, I'm looking to see... I'm looking to see where we're going to pick from. Let's see, false graph. I think Pete had meant that Whiskey Lovers Society got it right before him. Ah, okay, so, so we're on the same, we're on the same thing. Society. Bishop Burn Boy, barrel char giving a smoke feel. I think you can pick up the burnt wood. It's not burnt, it's not actually burnt. No, if you burn a barrel, I think you can pick up that. Yes tiny bit sometimes on a very but it's not great that's why i got the sea beat because yeah. it's more of green okay here we go whiskey lover society let's pick a new bottle top Duck. left yeah. front fill side uh let's go here right this is going to be 176 now we've oh, no, no, 177 whiskey lovers society so <laughs> I'm probably going to forget that next week. No, I put it in my mouth. of a society in 39. We have had a little run of ex bourbon old whiskies, haven't we, recently? But I think I've got a party. I think I've got it. Oh, that's right. I've got it. I've got that. That's right. Although that one is still in the blind tasting. But we did have Glenbergy and we bought the bottle from Cadenhead. It was so good that out of all, I picked the party with the best. It was three years in a sherry cask for a 14 year whiskey. So it, it was sherry finished. Right, let's see what we're going to get. Is it a bourbon? Oh! Oh, you know. Oh, you know. Um, going to be bourbon. I think that's beyond bourbon. No, look how red that is. What have we just got? Just by pouring, and like, that's 60%, isn't it? Look at the size of those giant bubbles. Right, off you go. I'm calling it early. What about, um, what about, I was going to say, what about Amroot Port Nova? Is that bourbon? Are you sure? Are you sure? What about, <laughs> it's not, that's not bourbon. Have a taste. Mmm. <laughs> I haven't tasted it. Let's see. Big bubbles, 
Not one of the bourbon. I don't think it is because the bourbons are softer now, aren't they? The, the only few that are left. That's so red. It is sherry. A perfect pick right in my territory. Oh, Whiskey Lover Society, what's your territory? It's not whiskey with an E, so. Look, sherry or red wine port or an amroot. Greg, you see, we both think in the same it thing. It is not Scottish. It's not Scottish. It's got with bourbon. It is bourbon. But very different. I, I like it. Oh. It's. I'm saying not bourbon. Not Scottish. <laughs> it's it Scottish. Scottish to you. Well, we will find out. I about the ABV. Up. Um, when will we find out? After four days. I mean, what day is it today? Sunday. <laughs> That's what I was really getting at. We will find out on Sunday. That is not subtle. <laughs> but it's a Scottish. If it's Scottish, it's an immigrant Scottish person. We will find out on Thursday. Thanks all for watching. We will see you. See you later. <laughs> we call it a bourbon anyway. Peter, good try. <laughs>